don't expect from me but from God. Amen. Uh, whatever that we have here this morning is for both of us. I didn't even include it. Hallelujah. In this money, yes, Ndiyo lazima hata angeomba hayo maombi yake. 
And obviously it happened. But why did he pray? Jesus taught me something here of importance of praying. Even if you know that this thing will not work, just pray. Even if you know that these things hasn't happened, kabisa, ugoshua kabisa, ugoshua mariyeti wamekufa, pray for that little of yours. Pray because, okay, some of us we pray because we are expecting something will happen the next minute. That's why we are praying. But the moment, like, we are just praying for two blankets, like, we are praying for two blankets, Na penda hii statement na tunaweka kwa mazishi ya job. Yeye alikuwa anasema eh wewe ndio ume umeleta na wewe umetoa. Sio jina lako ni tukuzo. This point job like alikuwa amepoteza kabisa focus. But alikuwa anasema wewe ndio umeleta na wewe umechukua. So let your name be glorified. Why? Because everything that we have in this world si yetu. Everything that we think that ni yetu hadi sura iliyokuwa nayo ni una brag na unitembea nayo si yako <laughs> Imagine because the next minute everything it can change unaweza tembea tu hapo mkoa na mafuta ya moto kwa sura kwa sura ina change you think that we call over eye So everything in your corner katika maisha yako this this morning accept it and glorify God with that thing Hallelujah Kubali venye wewe uko na utumikie Mungu vile wewe uko at your own capacity like and having that understanding that ni Mungu ameleta na yeye atachukua haleluya anaenda kuliwa lakini still huyu mtu alitoka na wanafunzi wake alafu akachukua wale watatu kwa anawapenda akasema twendeni kufika mbele anamwambia hebu kaeni kidogo akianza kutembea za kwenda tena step mbele akaanguka na kuanza kuomba why na he knew that land and the still hadn't happened bado ameshuhibiwa na ni kwa sababu gani imagine wenye anaombea ni wenye wamerudi kwa bana fanya nini wamelala who are those how is this work Kristo ambao most of the time Mungu ako na he is ready Yesu alipopaa mbinguni alisema naenda kuangalia makao. Ili pale mimi nitakuwa nani mwepo. Amen. But you imagine yeye mwenye amekuwa crucified kwa sababu yetu sisi hatumkubali. We don't even do exactly what God wants us to do. Yeye mwenye anajua anaenda kukufa in the next minute ndo anaomba wenye wanabaki hai wamelala anaomba dakika kidogo narudi anakuja na baraka ya watu wame wame those those disciples this is our Kristo tunachokanga in like dakika kidogo sana na hivyo tunataka kusabu gani Yesu alipoenda alituachia roho wa Mungu so roho wa Mungu is ever there now ile mfano wa Yesu wenye alitoka kwenda kuomba ni roho mtakatifu sahi mwenye anatusaidia katika maombi but the moment you want to open your mouth and na kuanza kuomba unaanza kulala mroga tu na kuuliza na mbona na mimi i am here to help you pray why are you sleeping but for us christian tunakuja church asubuhi tunakaa hapo kwa kiti unaambua uombe ngozi yote ya mungu amen haleluya haleluya now the spirit anakuja na kuuliza kesa i'm here mate why are you sleeping Please wake up. Pray. He's always humble. Anataka sisi tukubali na tuamini. Tuombe. He's always there every time. Imagine as Christians hakuna kitu tuna fight nayo. Hakuna kitu tuna fight nayo kwa sababu amefufuka siku ile. Ni kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu. Wakati tumelala, ye amekuwa macho akituombea. Hallelujah. Wakati tunapitia hizo shida, ye ako macho. So let me tell you one thing, my, my, my friend, that the moment you're going through that like the, the, the hardest time on your life, the hardest like situation that comes up. Don't even take it too 
kusudio na dini yako Jesus is here imagine Yesu alikuwa anajua wewe hujui imagine wewe hujui unapitia shida you, you know nothing about uh, your shida you know nothing completely you know nothing 100% Hali bila nasema tu dai tunajua tunajitanganya wenyewe kwa sababu haki ya Mungu haiko ndani yetu. Haleluya. Because inasema bado in proverb that we should not lean on our own understanding. The moment you are going through something in your life, do not lean on it. Just we kitu nafikiria tu ni kidogo hivi. No, imagine hiki tunafikiria ni kidogo. Hakuna kitu unajua, hakuna kitu mimi imagine kwa sababu faithful alimwingi wa rehema anakusikiza anakupea anana chance kwa sababu anasema kwa ndo lake siwezi acha mwenye dhambi afi bure ila aache uovu eh, wake na alirudie so the moment you are alive know that you are a sinner hey. <laughs> you go know that there is something you must do you need to focus on God you need to start praying kabisa mwambie Mungu una job sababu Mungu sasa mwenye dhambi afe ila arudie arudie mimi na mimi niweze kuokoka so the only thing ni nikichona niko hai leo na job na chance Mungu amenipea so i'm supposed to keep on pushing now to pray imagine baby me i feel like the moment you are we been so man say kesa pray mimi mzee nifungue kudomo siku nzima I pray the whole day, the whole night. Why? The moment you understand, ama you know the reason I told you you're supposed to pray, you will stop joking. You will stop joking. Utafungua mdomo, uombe tena kitu hakuna katika maisha yako. Utaomba. Hakuna kitu na gharamia, hakuna kitu na gharamia. Hakuna kitu na gharamia. Pumzi ya uhai umetoa bure basi kwa tu mungwana for once fungua tu mdogo yangu mwambie tu mungu wangu god najua mahali umenitoa na mahali unanipeleka ni wewe tu nakutumikia will you die by saying that you would die and some of us are going to be issues mingi with those who are Christians when you are mokoka na wanasema wanakuja kanisa kila siku ndio maana Yesu alisema alikuja kwa ajili yako wewe mwenye dhambi ameteswa kwa ajili yako so this man was crucified and imagine those close friends alikuwa kwa nao ndio walisababisha hali pakubwa yeye asulubishwe hadi alipokuwa anapitia hiyo hali akaanza kuanza kumkana like no me i don't know this man since jokosa because of most of the time most of us tunakuwa katika hali hii like hatu allow now the spirit to lead us in everything that we do so tunafanya vitu kwa, kwa, kwa according to our understanding tunafikiria hivi ndio tunafaa kufanya then baada ya sajogo hiki huko tunachoweza ah kwenu umefuata Yesu ungekoja ala ni wiki kwanza imagine kule kwa pato amelala akarudi tena akaomba kuja fika tena amelala eh jamii sasa hata nakata kama nusu saa tu muombe basi mnitie nguvu hao mabeti zangu ni una una unatarajia watakuombea katika shida zangu eh mtie ni tu tena they will not pray for you in fact wewe tunasemanga tunaombanga I do not care some break for you. Oh, so you say that break for you. Let me tell you one thing. No one is break for you. Break for yourself. Because you know exactly what you're going through. This person will go be hajui ara sekunde ata ata ara kitu kidogo yenye unapiti hajui. Hajui. So, hapa nitaamka niseme eh bidi eh mniombe nipitie shida fulani. Yes, mmesikia but no one will pray for you they will sleep why yeye ana shida zake ataomba za kwako yeye zake azafanya yeye hajafanyiwa yeye kile kwa nataka yeye ataomba zako how is he yeye atalala amke ah 
Ndiyo na kukupea kisa. Sawa, kesho nikiamka I must. Anataka kwa lot kuku. Lazima nikupe kisa. Alafu fua. Ikiwa sababu na umo fidi. I even pray for yourself. Wa Kristo tusitegemee maombi ya mtu nikusaidie. Piga magoti mwenyewe au malia. Pray for yourself. Because is it siku ni siku za mwovu. The moment you don't pray for yourself, no one will even stand for you. Take this chance na moment ili ukiambua omba kanisani. Pray. Pray. And pray like nobody's business. Don't even mind whether they will say this or that. Don't even mind whether what I say, oh, okay, someone is doing one, two, three, four. Oh, so you, 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 anakuja umelala tena anakuombea so yako ni kujihumble na kumwambia Mungu mzee hizi vitu zote umepitia ni kwa ajili yangu mimi wenye mwenye dhambi nikitoka hapa leo nimeenda kulala kwa nyumba ya mstana fulani nikitoka hapa leo nimeenda kulala kwa boys fulani ando kitchen sandi ukishika bag of food kuimba neema inashuka why he still giving you a chance to repent he still giving you a chance to worship him Usijione ukifika hapo ukitoka okay, ukitoka kwa ndemo ama boys mali fulani alafu ukija sana huko church uimbe roho ishuke ufikiri ati yani watu leo wewe uko sawa Mungu amekubali kwenye huko zi zi anakupea neema ndio urudie but the time kikikuramba wanasema kikuramba you live and pray for that gift you will not come back it will never come back Why? Kwa sababu umechezea ile tengu liko kwa madhabahu. He was giving you a time. Wewe unakuja hapo una worship, unapiga kila mchaji mzima mtu ana worship, wanaanguka hadi. But una ngale life yako still iko tu vile iko. Let me tell you one thing. Omba sana, ombe hiyo huduma. Hiyo ni neema neema Mungu atakupea. Unapanga vitu vizuri, unapita mtihani, lakini unafanya dhambi. Unajaribu mimi nikosa bado. Ilikuwa neema tu Mungu amtendea. No wakati wako itafika unashangaa wapendwa tuombe kwa sababu saa inafika na iko karibu a time will come that you even want to pray itakuwa imeisha you will even imagine this moment you had here kwa kwa nyumba Mungu you imagine playing your drum playing a keyboard kushika tu microphone kuimba utaanza kuimagine itakuwa imeshapotea from your heart if you can't do this from your heart let me tell you one thing God will be there na na imagine when you finish one and I get a phone call me I say we will be found me we will be one of David we will you go and so fanya leo ujiokoe mwenyewe una feel high the call it is not very possible it is not possible au kupitia ile maombi alisema najua it is possible alikuwa anaomba naomba akiambia Mungu najua inawezekana lakini si kwa ajili ya mapenzi yangu kwa mapenzi yako pekee let's do it the moment we celebrate easter let's celebrate it with maana yake umuhimu wake kwamba yeye mwenye alikufia ulikombe la baba hiyo ndio nakuachia leo ningependa tu kwa encourage sana always pray always have time to trust in your god because our friends wanaweza tuachilia our friends wanaweza kutuletea shida our friends and who should trust aliyo mwenye kuneka ni god ever especially when you are praying 
usi trust ngombe yako yao kwa ngo yani ananiombea so I'm fine hmm. open your mouth and pray for yourself usikuwe mvivu wa kuomba